All right, guys, so I started my day off with a smoothie bowl. I'm adding in about three frozen bananas, a handful of frozen strawberries, and then I'm just gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes or so and soften up. And it makes the smoothie bowl so thick and creamy without being too watery. And then I'm adding just a little bit of water and then blending it up. And I've been really loving doing these smoothie bowls in the morning before my workout. It just gives my body enough energy without it being too heavy for me. And topping it off with some homemade granola, it will complete my breakfast. I love drinking my homemade kombucha, so today, I'm adding in my blueberry and ginger flavor, and it's just so delicious. Also, I drink a lot of water throughout the day, so this is just a nice little treat. And it really helps with my gut health. And for lunch, I'm going with my go-to air fried potatoes. So I'm taking some pre-steamed potatoes I steamed earlier in the week, cutting them up into quarters, and I love using gold potatoes and occasionally I'll use russet potatoes, but they're all just really good. I like to always keep like a bag of steamed potatoes in my fridge, so I'll steam them in my Instant Pot. I'll just do a bunch of potatoes at one time, so that way I can just grab them from the fridge and air fry them up when I need to. Adding in some black pepper, into my Ziploc baggie. This just makes it easier to get the seasoning on everything so I can just shake the bag up and be done. Adding in some garlic powder. I tend to go a little heavy on this seasoning uh, just cause I love garlic. And red pepper flakes just for a little spiciness. And a pinch of Himalayan sea salt. Now what makes these potatoes so good is nutritional yeast that I add in. It gives all the potatoes a coating and it adds that cheesy flavor to it all while making it crunchy on the outside. And I'm air frying my potatoes at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. So chopping up a head of romaine lettuce, I'm literally using the biggest bowl I could find for my salad, which is a mixing bowl, but it works. Next, I'm gonna add in about half of an English cucumber, just chopping it into bite-sized pieces. And just chopping up two green onions, dicing it up and adding it to my salad. Adding in some shredded carrots. I always like to keep a bag of this on hand. I can always add it to a salad or put it in some sushi. And then just chopping up some grape tomatoes and whatever is left of that container of tomatoes, I'll be using it for dinner. And I saved the roots of the green onions from lunch and I'm gonna to try to grow my own. So I'm gonna put them in a shot glass of water and see how they do. For the dressing of the salad, I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of almond meal, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, three tablespoons spicy mustard, or you can use Dijon. And this recipe is actually from the Starch Solution book that I've mentioned several times in other videos. I just modified it a bit for what I actually had in my fridge. And like I said before, I love garlic, so we're gonna add in three cloves of minced garlic.
And after it is formed into a paste, I'm gonna add in three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, or you can use lemon juice. Two tablespoons of reduced sodium soy sauce. And about one to two tablespoons of water. And I like to dress my salad before the potatoes, just because if the potatoes are in there while I'm doing that, it gets kind of soggy. And I used almost all the potatoes. Whatever I have left, I'll usually just either snack on it later on or I'll save it for another meal. And for dinner, I'm gonna chop up a bunch of cilantro, which is literally my favorite herb of all time, and then just add it to my serving bowl. I'm gonna dice up about half of a red onion and actually save the other half for later on. Now I'm gonna add in some diced jalapenos. So chopping the tops off and slicing it in half. I'm gonna use my spoon to actually remove the seeds. And like I mentioned earlier too, what it was left of the tomatoes, I'm gonna to use in my corn salsa. So I'm just gonna quarter the tomatoes and add them to my bowl. And I'm adding in a defrosted bag of sweet corn that I had just defrosted in a colander earlier. Using the other half of the red onion, I'm gonna slice it into strips and add it to my pan to saute. After checking in on them to make sure they're not sticking, the color looks to be just about right. So I'm gonna add in a bag of raw spinach to steam those. And I only eat roughly about half of what will be in the pan after the spinach cooks down, and the other half my husband will end up eating. I already added some brown rice I had cooked from earlier, and then I'm just gonna add in the rest of my fixins. And as far as seasoning goes, I really get enough flavor from the salsa, so don't add any seasoning to it really. Um, and then I just add a little bit of lime juice on top as well, and that does the trick. <laughs> 